Hey, thanks for watching this episode of our American Travel. We recently spent a day down in Conway at Moik's RV, Conway, Arkansas, um, looking at new travel trailers because we would like a larger one. We've decided we would like a separate bedroom rather than the Murphy bed setup we have now. And we also want two seating areas in our living area. We don't want just a dinette, a dinette or just a couch. We'd like both. So we kind of narrowed it down to everything that's in this video. We did look, did look at the new R Pod 202 because it seemed to have a lot of bells and whistles of the things that we thought were wrong with the R Pod 192. And then we looked, we've been really attracted to Grand Design. We keep seeing them everywhere on the road and in the campgrounds. And we knew that they have a reputation for high quality materials and good workmanship. So we looked at three different Grand Designs that we're gonna show you here. I hope you enjoy our tours. We just kind of narrate as we go along. Um, they're kind of quick. And when we decide to buy one and it's ours, we'll do a full scale tour. Hope you enjoy. Hey, we really appreciate it. If you would like and subscribe to our channel, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and even click the bell for notifications. Also, we would like for you to comment about which uh, model that you like the best just because that may help us on our decision, or we may have already made our decision, but we want to see what your opinion is. So thanks, as always, we appreciate you. This is the RPOD 202. I had seen the floor plan, and I really wanted to see this one because it looked like it had some improvements on the RPOD that we already have, and. Um, the first thing I noticed, it does have the solid steps, solid surface steps when you come in. It's got the kitchen in the back, it has one slide. Um, it has a separate bedroom with a bathroom in the middle. Still very lightweight, so um, a lot of the fixtures and everything we know now are not as... I wouldn't say they're not durable, they're just built to be lightweight. Still has a ton of storage. Uh, one thing I like the dinette seats four instead of two because we're pretty crowded at the dinette right now. Yeah, our... it's a it's a much bigger dinette, yeah. and the yeah. dinette we have now we can we can get two in there, but that's no, about it. Really? Uh, yeah. So we really like that about it. This has a fireplace, which none of the other R pods have that I know of, which I thought is pretty nice. And it has a, a, a bedroom separate from the living area, yeah, which I, I, I kind of like. Oh, yeah, you said that? I did say that. So now we've said it twice. Oh, it's got a shower with an insert. Our 192 does not have an insert, and you can't see it here, but it actually has drawers um, in the bathroom. It's got a full-size queen bed, I believe. Yeah, it's got shorter storage cabinets than the 192. Uh, the rear window still that opens in the back. Nice area for a TV, which, you know, yeah. there's no separate TV, obviously, in the 192. Um, Still has the horrible shower head, but you know. That can be fixed, we've proven. Yes. The next one we looked was the um, Grand Design Imagine 2500 RL, which stands for rear living. I like the fact that it has two doors. One of the doors has the Lippard solid steps, the other one has floating steps. Um, and you can tell by the floor plan, it's got a um, recliner set in the back, so it's rear living. Plus it's got a dinette. We liked having two seating areas as opposed to one. Yeah, and it's still relatively light, lightweight. It's a couple thousand pounds more than the 192 and about a thousand pounds more than uh, the 202 that we looked at. So it's still relatively lightweight. We'd probably be able to, um, to you know, pull it with the truck we have. Um, you can see it has a Roku. Well, you can't see it has a Roku. There's a Roku TV, two heated massage recliners um, can't wait to kind of kick back in that if we choose this one um, now some of the others we looked at have this as well um, huge microwave uh, gigantic I think he said yeah gigantic yeah. gigantic microwave I don't know if it's gigantic but it's pretty good size plus a regular oven a regular oven and then a nice sink and then lots of cabinets and we like the fact that there's lots of storage in this particular one um, and most of the Grand Design models seems to be pretty decked out. And that's one of the things we like about our R-Pod too, is that uh, there's lots of storage in the R-Pod. Um, and there's, you can see some cabinets beneath. There's some drawers beneath the sink, which you can barely see. And then... The drawer goes beneath the stove, but they were winterizing it, so they took the yeah, drawer out. Yeah, they had that drawer. I mean, drawer. sitting over on the table here. Yeah. You know, we'll see it here in just a second. Uh, and here we are going back into um, where the bathroom is. So it kind of separates that living area from the 
the front of the trailer, which I kind of like. That way, you know, if one of us is kind of a night owl and the other one's not, um, that works pretty well. So that's one thing we like. Lots of uh, places to put clothes, right? Yes. Um, the side storage or the, is larger or longer than the one in the R-Pod, plus there's storage on the top. And they're actually, I don't know if you can see them, there's two drawers beneath those um, closet cabinets. There's also the two lights there, yeah, the reading like lights that. now. We're just yeah. using like a stick up, uh, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, and there's little cubbies down there that have charging stations on them. Were you going to say something about the door coming Oh in yeah, the back? I like having the door in case you have to stop and go to the bathroom, because you can't find one, which happened to us a couple of times. Um, you can just stop and go into the bathroom there. Otherwise, the, the slide blocks it off from the other door. Yeah, from the other side. And then it has this uh, fold-out cabinet gives us more counter space. Yes, which is one thing I miss about the R-Pod. There's not a lot of counter space. And then there's that drawer we were talking about earlier. It has some pegs in it. You can kind of separate pots and pans if you wanted to. Or, to keep them um, from rolling around. To keep them from rolling yeah. around as much, yeah. It's cool. And that, that table is a collapsible table, and you can take it all the way out. You can take it outside even if you wanted to. Which to is use cool. It outside, which I think is pretty cool. cool, yeah. And um, so there's some, a lot of good things that we like about the uh, 2500RL. Um, so, oh look, um, it has USB-C. Yeah, it has a USB cool. and a USB-C sitting there at the table. And then underneath, which we looked at earlier, there's actually an outlet underneath the seat there, a regular electrical outlet. So uh, for DC, she's looking at kind of right there, I think. Yeah, then, I like that there's doors to the storage underneath. Our R-Pod does not have that. Next, we looked at the 2600 RB Grand Design Imagine, which means it has a rear bath. The one advantage of this one is the rear bath is huge. It has one door, not two doors. I mean, it takes up the whole back space. It's ginormous. Um, there I am in the bathroom. It's got a big shower. Oops, we're not going to the shower. You've got the same recliners. You've got the same dinette. They're just next to each other. Um, I think, yeah, i got double van, uh, medicine cabinet up there, plus a big, huge sink and cabinets underneath. Um, I love having all these windows. Don't you like all those windows? There's love the so windows. much light. I love the recliners. Yes. Yeah. Kind of like in the other one. That's a that's a big seller. Those recliners. <laughs> um, and there he can, you can see the table that it's down. That does make it into a bed. Also, of course, you can't have the table and anywhere else. And then there's else. a storage item. Yeah, back he's going to show but this. You could take out, and the ta table will slide all the yeah. way in. Yeah. So somebody can sit on that if you've got a little one, um, or you can take it out. And then there, you can actually, like, just like uh, the RL, you can take that uh, actually outside if you yeah. want to the table. Uh -huh. Now this one has a gigantic microwave, the same big oven. It's got some drawers, but it has more storage cabinets than the um, rear living one. Yeah, you'll see those over here yeah. underneath the TV. Uh, yeah. There's quite a bit of okay. cabinets and there's some That's drawers. a silverware drawer. They've already got it set up. And this one down here, that's for dog bowls, that's like for water and for food. I thought that was so cool. That is cool if you actually had a pet. Yeah, we, we don't have any at this time. I guess time, I'll have to so. eat out of that. <laughs> what do you think that's funny now? Yeah. I know you're not getting down there on the floor. So, and then at the bottom, it it's the fuse box and all of that stuff. Yeah, so, so as you can see a lot of storage there underneath yeah. the uh, Roku TV. Yes. And, and then, then here in the back, you oh, can see the, sink uh, the, the restroom again. There's a little storage around the right corner. Here, yes. And they have some hooks there. I like that. Uh, and then a place for your shoes. Yeah. Okay, we go back to the bedroom. You'll notice the bedroom basically is identical to the other grand design that we just looked at. Same closets on either side with the drawers, same cubbies. Same lights. The only thing difference is there's not an extra door outside. And then you'll see the refrigerator here on the on uh, he's uh, leaning by. Uh, it's exactly the same refrigerator that was in the other model. We didn't really talk about. It's a 12 volt slash electric refrigerator that's powered by a 190 watt solar panel that keeps the batteries charged so it can run. Also, on electricity doesn't run on propane like some of the others. So this is the 2500 2600 RB. The last one that we looked at that we really liked was the Reflection, Grand Design Reflection Series. It's a small fifth wheel designed to be pulled by a half ton truck, so it's not that heavy. Uh, it's got the dinette in the back, and it's a lot bigger, I think. Um, and then it's also got a slightly bigger seating area with the massaging and heat seats right there. Um, has really, really nice double wide refrigerator. There I am opening the door because it was so cool. Um, the kitchen. 
Wow. I mean, this was amazing. I mean, look yeah. at all the space that you get in there. It's yeah. A really tall ceiling. I love that. Which is one of the things you really like about Oh, there's a wheel. pantry on the other side. Yeah, the yeah, refrigerator. There's a real nice pantry over there. Wow. And an even larger microwave. And a, and a, and a Roku TV. It's a larger Roku TV. I think it's about the same size. Oh, is it? Okay. Anyway, it's really nice. The cabinets are taller. Nice extension there. And then you go up into the bathroom area. This bathroom has like more drawers, more storage space. It's not really as big though, I don't think. Certainly not as the RV. I don't think it's as big as the RV. Has a, um, oh, maybe not as big as the RV. It's got a clothesline in the shower. Really nice bedroom. Oh, yeah, so nice. <laughs> and it's not curved in the front. It looks like yeah, it's really set up there pretty easily. back against it. It's got a lot of storage there in the front, um, a lot more clothing yeah, really storage. Nice yeah. Awesome. Yeah, fifth wheels are pretty great. Hey, thanks for watching uh, this episode of Our American Travel. Hey, we forgot to mention earlier that the, the, the videos are the videos. That's really crazy. Um, the RVs that we looked at, we wanted to be able to pull with our current truck. So we have a, a F-150. And so we wanted to keep it within a certain weight range. So we looked at these four for that reason. Hey, as my wife asked earlier, we'd love it if you'd like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when we publish our next video. Um, please comment. Let us know which one you would choose. Thanks so much for watching.